viewers today we are going to pass through enugu onicha expressway coming from uh, onicha axis that is uh, boromi to be precise so by the right there is zix house Mussolium, and uh, by the left is the zix roundabout so we are going to move straight down to oka and uh, it's going to be in real time movement well um i know that some people have not seen this uh, entire stretch of road and uh, this is the opportunity for them to see the entire stretch of road and uh, as we are going uh we are going to see the latest uh updates concerning this uh, road and what really is happening on the road Well, um, if you ask me, honestly speaking, I never knew that um, we are still be talking about the construction of this road. At least by now, we should have gone very far in the construction, as in the, the other lane of the expressway coming from Oka, you know, is still under construction. And I tell you that everything has been abandoned for several months now that is quite unacceptable but of course it's as if uh, the masses don't have much to say when it comes to project execution like this but even at that we have to voice out uh, our mind and what we feel about the situation Well, uh, we are going to move down to Oka. Like I said, we are going to see the latest update on this road. But I know that last time I passed here, they are constructing a barrier, you know, towards that uh, Ogidi building material side before, just after that uh, Wasike Junction, they are constructing a barrier because what people are doing there is not, um, you know, acceptable. What drivers are doing the way they turn from the other lane to another lane climbing the the very short barrier is not uh, what is supposed to be so now the government is now raising a barrier to cordon off the two sides of the road so that uh, it will prevent uh, drivers from you know using any place they want to turn their vehicle so but we are moving towards that place now until we get there, we will see exactly the situation of things there. And right now we are at uh, Tazan, New Tazan, oh sorry, New Pass flyover. That is our location now. And shortly we will be at uh, Tazan Junction, from Tazan Junction down to Gumasike Junction. But uh, like I was saying, we are going to move down towards that area that is under construction. And uh, personally, I'm not impressed. And I've uh, voiced out my mind concerning the construction, especially in the area of uh, accident. You know, vehicles are terribly having accident there on weekly basis most times several times in a week we see accidents there and uh, the accident is always fatal always fatal if there are four accidents there three will result to fatality which is a very bad uh, record please this is the opportunity calling on the minister of works dave omahi to please facilitate whatever is the issue that is holding this uh, road construction because this road people have suffered a lot concerning this road and i also urge uh, drivers and road users to be mindful of uh, speed especially speed you cannot be moving i've said this thing several times you cannot be moving at a normal speed limit of uh, 100 kilometers per hour on a road that is still under construction 
yes the other side has been completed but both traffics are using the other side the completed side so you are not expected to move at that normal speed limit that the government approved according to nigeria highway code so what you have to do is to use your common sense and you know move at a reasonable speed you should i shouldn't expect anything more than 60 kilometers per hour on that uh, very expressway where are you running to hmm? so but you know um like i said i've uh, appealed to the government and i have also appealed to road users if these both sides do what they are supposed to do it is not supposed to be like this the frequent occurrence of accidents on this road should not be so there are expectations on both sides to do the needful so that uh, people can move from point a to point b in peace without uh, uh, any problems that is the point and like i said people should not be speeding on that road speed is what is causing this problem from the little i know if the vehicle is not moving on a very high speed if something occurs like accident it will not result to that fatality that is the point okay now gentlemen observe this place you can see by the left they are raising a barrier you can see it so if you are having a mind that you come here to turn you are making a very big mistake and still you can see some vehicles are now flowing one way to come here which is very wrong i don't know our people the way they behave when it comes to obeying traffic rules and regulations is very discouraging and uh, too bad okay they are still constructing the barrier coming down towards there so it's not the idea of using the um, uh, um, mobile barrier no this one is a concrete barrier that is stationed there there is no movement of the barrier again so you better have it at the back of your mind that there is no turning here so we are moving down to the area that is uh, under construction and down to Amobia. Well, the issue of uh, <laughs> sand on our roads, <laughs> uh, I think uh, it, uh, it's not something that, uh, that has a very near solution from the look of things now. And I want to believe that uh, the government need to match up with development that is happening within our areas, because that is part of the problems. We are people are developing at a very fast speed, building at a very fast speed, and government is not meeting up with road construction. What do you expect? People will always drive out sand from those areas that was uh, or that is well built, but there is no road. Vehicles will always move out sand from that place onto the areas that have uh, um, tarred on it. So. Um, <laughs> though that that does not mean that um there will be no effort in terms of uh, sweeping the road uh, if the roads are you know are being swept at all times you know it's going to reduce the influx sand influx but this is expressway talking about sand we are also talking about overgrown bushes on a normal uh, we are supposed to if you are driving on this lane you are supposed to see the vehicle on the other lane but um, all these things are part of uh, the neglect that we are talking about. Shortly, we are going to be at Odumodu. From Odumodu, we move down towards uh, Okuzu Junction, Ubo Junction, and Amobia. That is how we are going to drive. And we want to see the latest look of uh, this area and what is uh, the current situation. Thank you.